this is going to be the most comprehensive and the most interesting review ever done on solar road on the internet okay i'm saying that because of you know i've put in a lot of hours a lot of time trying to understand the concept of solar road super computing okay um the services they are trying to render the product they are building okay for the ecosystem all right so um I was on the live stream this morning on OB Exchange, and someone actually mentioned that thing. I was like, okay, please and please, I want to invest into Solar Road. I want you to look into that. Okay, I was like, well, I need to have a deep dive into what Solar Road is all about. Okay, um, the name actually looks, it makes sense to me, Solar, like Solar Energy, kind of, you know. When I heard that name, I felt like, are these guys into Solar? Uh, installation or a kind of um, solar technology, you know, I'm not sure about that. So I had to take a deep dive. You know? So um, I've actually been a fan of fundamental analysis. You know, I teach quite a lot of people how to do both elementary and advanced um, fundamental analysis. So now I want you to do something for me real quick. Okay, I want you to follow this to the end. Number number one. I need you to, to I want you to pay full attention, okay? Because this could provide a very good investment opportunity for you, especially those of you who are always looking for um, passive income sources across the internet, right? Now, what is Solar Road? Okay, Solar Road. I'm going to explain what they do in the in the, in the simplest form, okay? Yeah, no, there is no point being you no know, sanding. Um, complex because I want to sound professional to you. No, okay. What they do is this: they take money from you, okay. You invest in their platform, then they use your money to buy some uh, computer infrastructure, okay, that generate computing power. You know, if you are mining Bitcoin, for instance, now you are actually mining Bitcoin with your computer with your computing power, okay. If you are as you are watching right now on YouTube, as you are watching right now. You are watching me because YouTube and your mobile phone and everything and your mobile app on your phone, everything runs in a particular computer. Okay. So there's a computing power that allows this to happen. Okay. So that is why you can watch me. I can make the video. I can upload it and all that. Everything happens on a supercomputer somewhere else in the world. Right. So what they do is they discover there is, there is a gap. Like, you know, there is a gap between uh, an average investors, you know, and the, the super, the computing industry. All right. So they want to kind of democratize. The way to democratize is that they want to make investment into cloud computing or into, um, super computing. They want to make that investment accessible to everyone. All right. That is the summary of what they are trying to do. Okay. So your investment means that they will, they will use that money to acquire more computing power. Then they will lease that computing power to companies, to Facebook, Yahoo, OpenAI, and several other companies across the world, right? Okay, that's exactly what they promise to do. <laughs> okay, something like Amazon Web Service. Imagine Amazon Web Service now, now opens their, their platform to everyone. They can make a minimum, minimum investment. And as Amazon is making profits you know, every day, every hour, every minute, every month, then they spread that profit across to all their investors. Okay, whether you invest ten dollar, a hundred dollar, a thousand, so you get the profit in proportion with in proportion to what you actually invest into. Probably you want to create you want to create a new data center, okay, maybe in a particular country, okay, that will involve about a million supercomputers. So they raise capital for that to do that. So whatever problem that they make from that investment, it is being given back to the investors. That's the summary of what Solar Road is trying to do. Okay. So um, I've done a lot of due diligence with you know on your behalf. This is SOD token. Okay. So it is it is SOD token that powers the ecosystem, and this token has been deployed on the Binance Smart Chain. All right. So that is it. Um, now. The, the minimum investments on the platform is 100 USDT. Okay. It is not, it is not the ERC20 USDT. Neither is it the ERC20. Okay. It's not Tron or Ethereum USDT. 
it is Binance Chain ESDT that you have to use for that investment, okay? And um, the investment promises you a returns of, let me check again, 1.2%. That is if you are locking up your investment for six for 60 days. Okay, 60 days, that's, um, three, that's two months, right? Okay, so in two months, let me calculate um, the possible arrow high that you get from that. Where is my calculator? Okay, so if you're getting 1.2, right? Multiplied by 60. What's, what's going to be the answer? Okay, <coughs> that is 72 return on investment in two months. <coughs> so by the time your investment expires, okay, probably your investment of a uh, of hundred, okay, multiplied by 72 percent. Okay, that is 72, right? So that's that, that's going to be like 72 plus a hundred right so at the end of at the end of 60 days okay you'll be able to withdraw 172 dollar from the platform and your profit will be like 72 all right so that is that, that is not bad so if you leave your investment probably you, you invest again okay and you leave that investment for like one year that would be like 1.2 percent multiplied by three 65 days, right? Okay, that's 438. So it means that you'll be able to withdraw 538 at the end of the year. Okay, so if, if you have 1000 right there, you have 5000 plus, 5080 or something like that on the platform. So that is what the promise if you are making a long term commitment. So if you want to invest, like I think 30 days exist. Let me check again. So for like 30 days, that's going to be 1% per day. For 15 days, that, <coughs> excuse me, that's going to be like um, <clears throat> like 15% every day, all right? 15 every day. So you pay, you pay service fee when, when you're trying to withdraw, okay? Service fee is flat, okay? Regardless of when you're trying to withdraw from the platform. So the service fee is uh, is 3% commission on whatever you have right there that you pay as service fee. So whether you're investing for 15 days, 30 days or 60 days it doesn't really matter okay the service fee is the flat rate okay so <clears throat> let me go back to this um these guys now i went through their white paper okay because the white paper is the official document of all the crypto projects i'm aware of okay that's like the official document that is where you have more details about your services the abstract the background the team and all that Everything is right there in the white paper, isn't it? Okay, so if that is the case, then let's have a look at the white paper documents. Uh, where is it again? Um, I think this is the white paper, yeah. So this is the white paper, as you can see. Okay, and uh, it is safely hosted on gitbook.io, which is the platform that most pro most crypto projects use. So they, they either create a, uh, a doc, like a PDF, or they host the white paper on gitbook.io okay it is rare to find a project hosting a white paper on google doc but it's possible people do it also but you know it is right here okay the background is there okay the abstract which seems like the summary of all what they are doing is right here so you can pay if you want to go through the, the abstract you can pay attention to it so the global computing industry will reach 24 trillion dollars you know uh, in 2022, according to this research, directly and indirectly driving the economic output of 20 trillion and 60 trillion, respectively. However, you know, so they have a lot of data that supports the growth, you know, and, uh, and the profitability in the computing industry, okay, in the computing, in, the, in that industry. So the urgent need for multiple innovation in the computing industry, you know, is part of the white paper. But what actually got me attracted and what really got my attention in the white paper is the um uh, is what let me check again okay is the team okay the team okay so they have a i you know a coin so when you when you invest your money okay you earn your profit in a coin and a coin is is, is a platform stable coin that is pegged one is your one to u s d t so you can easily convert your A coin to USDT and then withdraw your money out of the platform. Okay, so now if you now have A coin and you stake it, okay, A coin is your profit. Then if you should go ahead and stake your profit, 
then you have additional revenue for doing that. Okay, they, they're going to be giving you about 2% every day for staking a coin. So the a coin will give you SOD token. And SOD token is actually the platform token, which can actually skyrocket in value, you know, pretty soon. Now, what they're trying to do is, is, is the market psychology. Okay. They want to, they don't want you, to, they, don't, they don't want you to actually withdraw your money out of the platform completely. They want you to provide liquidity with your money so that it could keep the platform growing. Like, it should, it should keep it, uh, going. That, that's the right word for it, not growing. It's keep it grow, going. Okay. Because, uh, in the crypto space, even in financial industry in general, okay, liquidity needs to exist before people can make some blocks, you know, within the market. Okay. Before a platform could be sustainable. Okay. Why Bitcoin is sustainable today is because of the liquidity and the belief that people have in Bitcoin. All right. So, um, that is one thing, but something got me a, something actually got my attention in the white paper. All right. Listen and listen, guys. This is a tree. This is a theme introduction, as you can see. Okay. But before we go through the theme introduction, I want you, I'll, I'll copy the link, the URL. Okay. I'll copy this and I'll go to waste. So I'm going to duplicate this right now. Okay. And I'll enter the domain. All right. You can see this website was updated in April, 23rd of April. Okay. That's about. So get some data from where it shows that this, um, this platform Registered the sorry the website was registered uh March this year and it's gonna expire in 2028. That's like five years from now. Okay, then uh it was updated on 23rd of last month, right? So it is this platform is just is quite new, okay. It's, it's still a very new platform, okay. And um if you look at this now, right here, it was registered on um name chip, okay, as you can see right here. So what you can see that is less than 30 days ago, this website was registered. Okay. Okay. It was updated rather. Let me see about, about, um, two months ago. Yeah. 16th of March. It was registered. So going to two months now. All right. So now let me now go back to the team. Um, where is it? Where is the team profile again? This is the team profile. So when you click on this team profile, it will take you to LinkedIn. Okay. This is the, the, the co-founder, which is Edward Woodward, right? So if you go to LinkedIn, where is it again? Um, let me cancel this and this. Okay, so let me go back to this. All right, so this is the profile on LinkedIn. So I'm going to open this in a new tab. So what do you see? Two connections for a, a co-founder. A co-founder of a project like this having two connections, okay? And he, and he, you know, Edwards was an excellent computer science student who worked in the MIT computer laboratory and participated in the development and implementation of several innovative projects. Someone that worked at MIT having two connections. Okay. What do you think about that? All right. Having three followers, as you can see, and he made this post one month ago, you know, and this is the activities, as you can see. Okay. One month ago. All right. One, one month ago, actually coinciding with the time that they actually launched out, isn't it? Okay. So this looks like someone that actually created the platform because they had to include their profile here. They quickly created a LinkedIn account. All right. So then if you go, if you check out the other guy too, which whose name is, uh, let me check again. See his profile also. Okay. Um, Daly City, California, US. Okay. He's got zero followers, as you can see. Um, I can't seem to find any connection right here. Can you see it? So, and this is a guy that actually did his bachelor degree in University of Waterloo. Okay. How come you finish your degree in University of Waterloo? I don't even have up to 100 connections on, on your LinkedIn account. Okay. Even an undergraduate student of about maybe like year two or year one, having a LinkedIn account, they have at least more, more than 10, 20 connections and friends on LinkedIn. All right. So, um, it's not actually adding up if you ask me. Okay. Uh, it's not composite, you know, in crypto space, a project can be anonymous. But if you must include the details of your team there, you have to be original. Okay. So this is actually fake. It is the first flag. This is, is, it is that, this is the first flag. Okay. As far as I'm concerned, 
I don't need to check other team members because I've checked the first two and they are not making they are not making any sense to me. All right. So I'm going to cancel that because I don't I don't want to have much tab on my browser. Okay. So next thing I'm going to do now is uh, we've gone to the white paper. Okay. And we've actually been able to see some lies you know, in that white paper. Okay. So I'm going to cancel that. Now next I'm going to go to is the website again. Okay. Because the website is where the project lives. Okay. So they have a news and who are those people that are, that are using open that are using them um, solar road okay project that will use them are open ai jasper ai synthesia you no know, do not pay repurpose i repurpose high row jenny high tom you no know, fireflies morph timely outgrow all right so this is these are pretty that they say that they're going to be using their product all right so if you open open ai in the new tab of course open AI is very popular because they are the owner of chat GPT and Dali and other AI solutions across the world, all right? So if you go to their websites, you know, look at the company, you know, their blog, career, about, you see, okay, developers. I've searched everything that could be searched on these websites, okay? I can't see anything like solar. Solar road right there, okay? Look at this, okay? Not like solar road right there. Nothing whatsoever about Solar Road on their website. Okay. So, and, and also, let me even go to their own page, which this is their own page. And let me use Ctrl F to find Solar. Like, see, I can't see Solar right there. Nothing like Solar. So, these guys are not in any way connected with this Solar you're looking at. Okay. There is absolutely no connection right there. All right. So, let's also check out the um, Jasper AI. If they have it like Solar on their own page. All right, let's check, let's check, let's check real quick, real quick. Okay, so I'm going to find out, where is it? Nothing about solar or the So if I keep checking the other, the other guys too, I'm not, going to be, I'm not going to be able to find any connection between them and solar. All right, so, but there's no point wasting time because I don't want this review to be longer than necessary. All right, so we've checked out that and we'll be able to like cross out that. That is the second flag on this project, right? Then also, another flag on this project is that if you check their white paper, okay, I'm sorry I've canceled that. They said that they are um, a subsidiary of solar company, okay, that they are a subsidiary, a subsidiary of this company. So I want to Twitter to check out this company called Solar Digital Arts, okay. And Solar Digital Arts is in partnership somehow with the, uh, with, what is it, with Microsoft, okay, with Microsoft. Yeah, truly, this guy is one of their team members. I've checked their profile online. They had something to do with the Microsoft, you know, laboratory some time ago. But the thing is that they are not in any way connected to Solar Road. All right. They may have a similar name, but they are not in any way connected to them. I've checked their website. This is their website, right? Where is it again? Yeah, this is their website. They have nothing. They have no connection whatsoever with Solar Road. These guys are, they are real. They are legit. Okay. But they have no connection with Solar, uh, Solar Road, uh, platform. Okay. Um, then also, at least if they are subsidiary of Solar Digital Arts, okay, you expect that Solar Digital Arts will be following them, isn't it? But I checked it, uh, Control F, okay, then I type Solar Root, Solar Root, can you see? I can't find it among their followers because if it were, if it, if it is there, okay, I would have seen that they are actually following Solar Root. For instance, now, Binance will likely be following Binance Africa. Binance Asia, okay, because they are all subsidiaries of Binance um, ecosystem, right? So they are not following them, okay? That shows that they are not in any way subsidiary of this uh, company. So I've done, I've done my research up to that point. So I'm going to cancel this right now, okay? Then I'll go back to their platform, which is the official Solar Road, uh, official Solar Road platform. This is it, okay? Um, now building a new economy that realizes the profitability of one of on chain data world right so who are they following are they actually following solar let me check okay are they following solar they even made the mistake of not even following solar so there is no correlation they are following binance coinbase vitalik and all that but they are not in any way following solar which happens to be the appearance company okay does that make any sense okay that is the third or fourth flag okay that's like the fourth flag right now okay aside for these guys you know uh, Edward Woodward actually is actually an actor 
but it doesn't have any affiliate with this project whatsoever, right? So, um, and at the same time, uh, I'm going to pay attention to other some other key factors like. Let me check. Okay, other key factors like the arrow high that you get when you make an investment. Okay, um, to be honest with you, we are all aware that anything that has to do with the financial market is like a bet. Okay, if you buy Bitcoin now and you think that Bitcoin will move all the way from 27,000 to 60,000, you are making a bet like, okay, um, else things being equal, if more people should buy Bitcoin, then it will rise up in value, isn't it? So, um, you know, there is, it carries a lot of risk. Whether you are buying stocks, you are buying crypto, you are buying um, metals like gold, silver, you know, all of these things, they carry some level of risk also, okay? So they have no guarantees, okay? There is no guarantee whatsoever. But they, here, are, here are these guys, they are actually promise you everyone and hearts, okay? As you can check, I think we had their, what was it called? This is their DAP, okay? This is their DAP, you want to connect, you want to buy, swap, you know, and stick, okay? This is the DAP right here. Okay, so they say these guys are their partners. To be honest with you, they are none of their partners. Okay, it is just graphic designs. They are not partners in any way. All right, so I've done my research about this. They are not partners at all, at all. Okay, so now this is where you actually you can connect your wallet, your Binance wallet to this. Okay, then you invite your friends to join the platform. Then you make an investment. Okay, you make an investment. You stake. When you stake, then you start looking for forward to having your returns and after that you probably will draw your returns and swap it back to um, USDT right okay so that is the DAP that they built for this project okay this is a real DAP like it works normal and functions normal like a real DAP right but the problem I have with them is that they are making claims that cannot be substantiated okay they are making claims that cannot be verified that's one of the challenges all right and as you know that makes them look not trustworthy Okay, it makes it difficult to trust them. Okay, the fact that they have a smart contract doesn't make it you know, less than a Ponzi. So the fact that you are promising the guaranteed returns to your investors like every day, 1.2% per day, okay, that looks like a Ponzi. All right, that looks like that looks like a Ponzi. Okay, and it is a Ponzi if you ask me, because um, how do you have access to the infrastructure? How do you know they are buying the computing power? Okay, where can you locate? their data center okay there is no physical infrastructure in place there is no um, there is no address they can verify you know so that makes the ponzi okay so it makes the ponzi like you know i've done the research you know and i walked you i walked you through the summary of all the researches that i've done okay now it is up to you to make an informed decision by yourself like oh uh, this is really a legitimate business or or this is not but i've done this side you know for you you know those flags i've shown you the flags you know and um, those claims that cannot be substantiated with evidence and fact i've shown it to you so what else do you want okay and that's basically how i do my reviews i carry you all along so that you can see things by yourself you and verify things by yourself okay so they have this they have a telegram group where you can join and find out more about them but I'm not really interested in that at the moment, okay? Because I know that, you know, there's no how, there's no, there's no, they have a channel rather, this is a channel, okay? So the, the reality of that is that this is not a good platform, okay? Of course, if you actually stake some coins, you know, probably you can, you can hear some dividends or some ROI, but the, the, the fact is that they are using other people's money to pay you, okay? That's like a case of robbing Peter to pay Paul, all right? That's exactly what they are doing. So if you are comfortable with stuff like that, then well, you might actually take your, take some risk. Okay, you know your luck may actually shine, but to be honest with you, you should be fully aware of what you are getting into. Okay, that you are getting into a decentralized Ponzi, like a sort of a smart contract Ponzi. Okay, but this time around, um, they are disguised. They are disguised, disguising. Okay, they are disguising rather. Okay, they are disguising as. A cloud computing platform, but in the, in the in the truth of it, they are not okay. They are not. So I hope you enjoyed today's review, okay. And I hope that you subscribe to the channel and turn on notification bell. Let me know what you think about the platform in the comment box. If you've invested into the platform, let me know. 
or probably you are considering investing to the platform let me know also or maybe a friend told you about it recently okay and your site online led you to this video let me know what you think about the platform in the comment box okay don't forget to share with your friends subscribe to the channel turn on notification okay and uh, join the telegram channel okay that is where i share the updates crypto signals what i'm buying what i'm selling okay i share all of these updates in this telegram channel right here okay as you can see so when i make analysis price prediction what i'm buying what i'm selling okay you can see all of this is right here yesterday we traded link usdt yesterday okay i told you to buy at this price and when it pumped took some, you took some profit of, of that so like learning how to trade cryptocurrency you know profitably is a better option than chasing the shadows that you're saying okay look at you, you look at yourself how many ponzi are you participating in how many of them have how many of the ponzi made you rich in life okay these are things you have to look out for of course there's some very tiny percentage of the people that really made good money by um you know by trading you know by going into ponzi but come on there are only a few of them okay so it doesn't look sustainable it doesn't look like something that can actually sustain you for a very long time okay so that's it for today and i hope to see you in subsequent videos and subsequent reviews Okay, bye for now and enjoy, and enjoy the rest of your day.